Okay, everybody, we have got a ton of props and 3D prints to show you. Uh, most of these are props from many brands right here. Uh, right there are some props that I got from uh, Amazon and the red toolboxes and some of that stuff are 3D prints. So I'm gonna go kind of fast because these are all just small props. Uh, they're basically for your 1 12th scale six inch figure lines or uh, seven inch figure lines. Um, some work, some don't work. It's all how you kind of use it in uh, photography or whatnot. And uh, the first thing I want to show are these. I watch a ton of YouTube creators, so I can't really remember everybody I see these from or other items. I wish I could link them in the descriptions below. But um, these are balloon lights that you could use for weddings or parties. But I've seen someone use them in dios. And uh, it was about a year ago, maybe I seen it. And um, I really enjoyed what he did with it, but in the XPS insulation, insulation foam board that most people use for dioramas, uh, they took this light and drilled a hole and then it, you know, worked as a light inside of a room or garage. Now these are clear, just regular lights, but if you go to Amazon, and again, I'll show you the label right here, they have different colors, multicolor, red colors and, and stuff. And I've only messed with these once, so I can't remember how to exactly turn it on. Let me see. There we go. So you screw it and, uh, and there you go. So uh, let's see. It could work as a light next to some figures in a diorama. And again, uh, they're pretty bright. Uh, they got multiple different colors. I just bought a pack of just regular ones just to see how they would look. I haven't made a dio in some time. I'm hoping to get back into it. But yeah, these were great. I can't recall how much I spent on this bag. Maybe $15, $20 tops. But if you search balloon lights on uh, Amazon, you'll find them. So uh, great if you're into making dios. Another thing that I found, and I might have already showed this off in another video, but these are um, small hinges. They're a little bit bigger than I want, but if you recall on an earlier 3D print video, I did uh, some Yeti coolers. So I want to try to put two of these, on one on each side to allow the lid to open and close. So I'm going to glue these on there. I don't know how it's going to work. I'm, I wish I could find some smaller ones. I probably can if I really look. Uh, but these came in from Amazon as well. It's got little bitty screws. Uh, but again, I'm not going to use those. I'm just going to use the glue. Uh, another thing I've got from Amazon are these uh, mugs or, as Johnny Depp says, a uh, mega pint of beer and uh these will fit real well with uh your 112th scale figures let me see there's a label right there um if you want to get some but uh let's see just to show you what it looks like it's just a glass of beer this will look great with uh wolverine but uh yeah it looks real good and um, another drink type set that I got from Amazon was this one right here. Um, Absolute vodka in a small bottle. And then it came with uh, two of these. It's a little glass with some ice and it looks like a lime in it. But uh, yeah. Looks pretty good. So uh, those all came from Amazon. Now the next things I'm gonna show you are uh, from the mini brands. I've showed some of those in earlier videos. Uh, again, some of the mini brands work and some of them don't. Uh, the main ones I got was mini food brands and mini Disney toy brands. Um, let's go ahead and get the food ones out of the way. 
And again, I might've showed these. I can't recall. I'm, I haven't made a video in a minute. Uh, there's a cool whip. It's kind of big, but again, if you have it in the background of a shot, uh, crystal light container, again, uh, it's a little big, but if you bought it from a store like Sam's or something like that, where you buy in wholesale, uh, it'd look good in a kitchen diorama set. Uh, I usually make these big candy bars and stuff around uh, holiday seasons. Uh, let's see, we got that, oops, that candy one right there. Again, if you're doing like a bodega or a gas station diorama, those would come in handy. Uh, let's see here, some more large candy bars. Again, they have the large ones during the holidays and sometimes during Halloween. Uh, this scales pretty well, uh, some sort of baker's box. Uh, we got this right here, box of shake and bake and a pack of diapers. You know, to be honest, this scales probably the best. This and the shake and bake. Again, if you're doing, you know, some sort of photography or whatnot. All right, let's see. All right, these are the Disney toy lines uh, props, and this is just your standard shopping bag. So we'll bring Stalker in here just to show you for scale purposes. So uh, that's pretty good. And there's another one right here. Uh, let's see. All right, now the rest are the Disney uh, Mini Brands toy lines. So you got this little phone right here. And I really like that it's in some packaging. So if you built like a toy store diorama or some holiday scenes, you know, you could use these in there. Uh, there's spray. Uh, what is, I haven't seen this movie, Spork or Sporky from Toy Story. Uh, let's see. Got this small lunchbox. Me and my wife thought this one was pretty cool, especially the size of it. Well, it's not a lunchbox. It looks like an organ, organized container of some sort. Uh, let's see. I'm doing the girl-looking toys first. You have this one right here. And again, just the packaging on these are pretty, pretty cool looking. And I don't like to make a long video, so I'm kind of speed racing through these because there's so many different props. Let's see. That one right there from the Little Mermaid. I already showed you Little Mermaid. This is uh, Cinderella. Again, you can use these in some dio picks. I already show, yeah, I just showed that one. Yeah, I got some duplicates because these are blind boxes uh, or balls. Um, there's five or six pieces to each one and it cracks open like an egg. Let's see, that's the same one. Let's see. This is my favorite one. It's like a, a Captain America bow for Hawkeye, maybe. But it looks like something a Nerf bow would come in when I was a kid. So, uh, yeah, that looks pretty cool. Let's see. Got Princess Leia right there. Let's see. I got... Two of these Thor hammers. And I'm sorry I'm speeding through this. Just want to show it off right fast. I'm not a big fan of making long videos. Got a couple of extra Darth Vader's right there. Got this Cars one. And like I said, I really like the packaging this comes in. Look, you even have the remote in the background or controller. Spider-Man mask. These will look good. Like if you set up a Stan Lee uh, type uh, dio, his office. I've seen some people already do that. 
Um, not necessarily using these props, but using similar props. And some might have used these props. I don't know. So, I really like the Star Wars ones. Those are pretty cool. I don't know what movie that's from, but some sort of little alien. Oh, Toy Story right there. You would think me collecting action figures, I would see the Toy Sto Story movies. <laughs> Let's see, that's another Captain America. It's pretty cool. It's the Millennium Falcon. Let's see here. Captain Marvel right here. Okay, so that's all the mini brand props. But this also comes as one of them. This is like a, a Disney store shelf. Uh, they had this one and um, they had a smaller one. And you put the pieces together and the shelves, my wife put this together, uh, collapse. So you can make them bigger or smaller, but uh, you can put the props on there and stuff and uh, have a nice little dio. But this came in one of the blind things and you can see the scales very well. All right, so we've knocked out all the store purchase props. So I am gonna show you some, let's see, 3D prints right fast. Okay, so I did this chair right here but it was a somewhat little small and the bottom did not do good at all. So I increased the size and you can see the top right here, what it looks like, because the one I'm about to show you right there, the top did not work. So you got this right here, which the bottom did a little bit better, but it was still too big but the top did not do well at all. And there it is next to a figure. You can see where it basically just shaved it right off. I can't remember if it went like that or like that. It's more like that. So uh, we got those right there. We also have some toolboxes that I did printed those, painted them, gave them a gloss metal look. Then I used a paint pen and put silver paint, uh, a paint Sharpie pen and uh, put the snap on and stuff. So I increased the size of them and that way you can have them looking like they're stackable right there. Uh, let's see. Also made some of these. This is like an L cart. I made this one. Well, I didn't make it. I mean, I made the 3D print. I don't know how to design any Tinkercad 3D print files. So I got this, but it was a little too small. So I just upscaled it some. And uh, we have this one right here, which is a little bit bigger. But you can see had a little bit of warping right there. But uh, it still works well for what I want it to do. Yeah, you can haul the toolbox around if you need to. Let's see. Then I made some of these chairs. And I think I showed these chairs before. I can't recall if I did or did not. But you have that right there. There's another look at it. I got to clean up, you know, the bottom where the supports were and stuff. And uh, I really want to work on my layer height because you can still see those lines and stuff, but I'll get there eventually. Now, in earlier videos, I showed you these trash cans right here, and we'll use Stalker again, and you can see that's what it looks like right there. Now, the good thing is trash cans come in all sizes, but I wanted a bigger one, so I used the same file from Thingiverse, and that's where I find all of these 3D print files, and I made a bigger one right there. So that's a lot better size. However, this takes 13 and a half to 14 hours to print. So it takes a long time 
but uh, I'm happy with this scale. But uh, I've been putting this video off for a while and I do apologize, but uh, these were just a lot of props and I'm trying to keep this under 15 and we just hit 1509. So I hope you enjoyed the props. Again, I found some on Amazon. Uh, the mini brands, you can find it anywhere in any department store, uh, clearance stores like I always has them. And then of course, the stuff I 3D printed. Hope you enjoyed, hope you liked. Uh, put in the comments, which one was your favorite prop? All right, later.